Hello dear traders, welcome to Insta TV. you're watching daily financial news with me, Anna Kasatkina. North Korea carried out another missile test on early Monday. A Scud-class ballistic missile flew about 450 kilometers and fell into the Sea of Japan, in the area of vital economic importance for the country of the same name. So the geopolitical tensions in the region are again coming to a boil. In response, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe vowed action along with the US to deter Pyongyang's repeated provocations. The forex market is used to the news about North Korea's missile test by now. Besides, markets in the U.S. are closed today for the Memorial Day holiday, denting trading volumes. Amid the thin market, the dollar-yen pair is following the same trend as on Friday. The pair bounced off Friday's intraday low of 110.90 and settled at 111.40 by the close of the Asian trade. The U.S. dollar is gaining support from expectations of the U.S. Fed's policy meeting in June. Recently, some Fed officials warned that the regulator could refrain from raising interest rates in June as fresh U.S. economic reports revealed signs of a slowdown. Now traders expect the Fed's policymakers to change their rhetoric to more hawkish in light of the second estimate of the U.S. GDP released on Friday. The U.S. economy expanded 1.2% on a quarterly basis in the first quarter, surpassing the forecast for a 0.9% growth. Meanwhile, the market awaits the beige book by the Federal Reserve and reports from the Labor Department. The government data on the labor market will give clues to the Fed's decision as the condition of the jobs market is seen as a barometer of the economy's readiness for a rate hike. In addition, market participants will take notice of the euro. ECB President Draghi is scheduled to speak at the European Parliament in Brussels later on Monday. And this was Daily Financial News. Thanks for watching and see you back soon. Bye.